So hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jacob from Cinema Cane Productions and in today's episode I'm bringing you guys an episode on how to make your Blue Stumble microphone a lot better. I recently figured this out and I'm using it currently. I'm not using the current settings, I'm just using my blue microphone, my blue snowball, sorry. And I just wanted to show you guys the settings itself in Audacity. Just a little caution, um, this is not for live streaming, this is for like recording for YouTube. Like you can do this all post, this is not current stuff. So yeah, let's jump right on in, shall we? So very first thing you want to do is open up Audacity. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so here it is. So what you want to do is just click the record button and don't talk for three seconds and then talk. So hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jacob from Cinema Cane Productions and this is a test recording. Now hopefully that all went pretty good for you guys and if it didn't, I'm sorry. But here's what it sounds like raw. So hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jacob from Cinema K Productions, and this is a test recording. Pretty trash, right? Anywho, so what you want to do is just select this first three seconds and go to Effect, Noise Reduction, Get Noise Ro Get Noise Profile. Sorry, and you go to Control A on your keyboard, and then you'll just go to Effect, Noise Reduction again, and you'll just click OK. Now it should have taken out all that background noise. So hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jacob from Cinema K Productions. Take out all the background noise, but you still sound like crap. So what we can go ahead and do is just delete all this right here. Bam. There you go. You're done, Zareno. Now you have your actual clip. So hey. Alright. So now what you want to do is just click Control A. And then you want to go to Normalize. Go to Effect. Normalize. And just copy down these settings. Make sure these two are ticked. And then you have negative one. Set is your DB and that's unchecked. And then there you go. As you guys can see, it got boosted. So hey guys, what's going on? My name is Still sounds like garbage, right? So now you want to go to Compressor. If we go to Effect, actually, I, what I always do is I select off and then I do Control A just to make sure that you got it. Control A, Effect Compressor. Where's it at? There it is. Um, just make sure that you guys have all these settings down: negative 18, negative 40, 2, 1, 0.5, and 1. Just make sure you have all those copied down exactly. And there you go. It compressed it down. So hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jacob from Cinema Kid. As you guys can see, the waves are really constant now. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And now we want to go to Effect. All right, make sure you have it all selected with Control A again. Effect, Equalization, and you want to go to Bass Boost first. So make sure this is set to Bass Boost, and then just copy down all these settings. I'm not going to go over them. You can just pause the video and check them out. Click OK, and now your bass should be boosted. So hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jacob. Fr there you go. I got boosted just a little bit. So now we go Control A again. Go to Effect, Equalization, and then this time we'll do Treble Boost. Bam. And now it should sound a lot better than the crap sound you're getting before. So hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jacob from Cinema K Productions, and this is a test recording. So as you guys can tell, the quality did improve just a little bit. And now we want to go to normalize just one more time. Make sure you click Control A, Effect Normalize. Actually, we're gonna be doing it one more time after this too. But there you go. Now you guys. So hey guys, what's there it is. So now this next part is pretty much for audio peaks that you get. Um, if you ever find yourself in a game where you scream or like you get scared so you actually scream uh, and your audio like <laughs> cuts out or something, you know, because you actually screamed. Um, it peaks. This fixes that. So you want, it's kind of hard to say it fixes a peak in post, but it, it tries its best. So we just go to Control A and then we go to Effect Limiter down here and just copy down these settings 0000, zero, 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 zero negative 4 make sure this is set to hard by the way negative 4 and 10 make this no and then just click OK and as you guys can tell it kinda just cuts it off at that negative 4 mark so it, it it's help it helps a little bit it won't ruin people's ears let's just say that so hey guys what's going on my name is Jacob from Cinema K Productions and this is a test recording so it didn't really affect my recording too much because I didn't really scream or anything but there you go Last but not least, we want to control A one more time, go to effect and normalize, and there we go. It is finally boosted. So hey guys, what's going on? My name and ready to go. I just punched my microphone. Now if you guys want to save this, all you have to do is just go to file, export audio, and make sure this set is a WAV, 16 bit PCM. And uh, you can just save it wherever the heck you want. Put it into Sony Vegas, Premiere Pro, Camtasia. Pinnacle Studios, whatever you use, those are all the ones that I've used over the years. Um, it works very well. Make sure that you guys don't do file save project as, because that's like saving a project in like Sony Vegas. You still have to like render the audio, export the audio, technically. But um, yeah, this is how you guys do it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, and if you did, be sure to give that like button a huge thumbs up, and if it helped you out a lot, be sure to subscribe to stick around for more. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. See you guys.